Oh my god, I'm shrinking tiny and tiny! Okay, yes, hello everybody, Mega Nintendo Wolf here. Um, slash Z Bugs. Last episode, we got a magic mushroom. Uh, possibly the meaning of the actual term that wakes people up and not hallucinates them. Ooh, walking across a big plank. Why would anyone connect these houses? Is there any reason? Anyway, we got the magic mushroom that was supposed to wake people up. And we obtained a magic bottle that... No, we didn't. We tamed a bottle of bo dog food, so we can't use it to put fairies in. Let's just dump the stuff out and, like, not feed the dog. Yay. But I'm not that evil. I'll do that. We also obtained the boomerang. Thus is good, too. Hello, good sir. I'll wake you up. Wah! What was a terrifying bad smell? Wake you up, mushroom! I should have guessed, so you woke me up. Thanks, I'll just remember I have something I'm urgent to do. Huh? What now? There's more... Though there are more new shoes, I probably won't believe this, but... I have a strange habit of making shoes in my sleep. So you must have come here because you want to buy some shoes, right? Tell me what... What? Because you were nice enough, I'll, I'll wake me up. You can have them. Honest, I thought I just wanted to finish up one last bit. Why do not people do this in in most games? Because, well, here you go. Here, take this. Because you generally have to do an excessive amount of quests to go and do something for them. Then you have to pay them. Those are my special Pegasus boots. They're so light and you'll feel like you're practically walking on air. No, no, they're Pegasus boots, not the hover boots. Oh, I need to hurry up and get working on a special order. The king asked me to make some shoes for Princess Zelda, you see. Thanks for waking me up. Come back if I can help you with the shoe problems. Okay, just saying something. The king has now been possessed by Varty. Varty would not care about shoes for Zelda. So clearly, he wants women's shoes for himself. Or possibly shoes that are fabulous. Why did I turn Minish again? Damn me and my thingy-ness. But yes, we now have two new items. Last episode we got the boomerang, and now we have the Pegasus boots. Yay, running. Ouch. Wee. And we only have 54 rupees left, so we can't buy the milk. Which I recommend you do. Quite a lot. Ow. Okay, so we're going to go feed this dog food to the dog now called Bahagan, or whatever he was called. Because I can't remember names. And I'm sure someone in some version of the game, he might have been called Fifi and it was a girl, but I'm not too sure. And I love these running boots, they make everything so quick and look at them. And I love it when you hit stuff. And this will be the cabin. Oh, hello sir. Ruff, ruff. And a dog bowl. You got an empty puddle? You still store stuff in, even though we could have just dumped it around anyway. Oh, you're such a cute little doggy Bahurgan. Or whatever you're called. But I'm going to call you Bahurgan now. Even though you do look more like a Fifi. And you change places randomly. My master Stockwell, my master Stockwell has been coming home too late to play with me. I'm so lonely. Oh. Poor lonely doggy, you look so cute as well. If you could, if I could have you accompany on my adventure, I would. You even have a saddle, so I could ride you through all the hard, like scary monsters. I just fell in the water. Anyway, this is a bit of Lake Hylia. Nothing we can really do here just yet. And I wouldn't press that as being blown. Yay! So let's just head back to the Witch of which we came, and I'm picking up a sign. Uh, just first, get out your Pegasus boots of running. I said get out your Pegasus boots of running. Uh, boom to the tree. Yep, we can now knock down sparkly trees. Which is awesome, because they shouldn't have leaves on them in the first place as they're clearly dead inside, but oh well. Ooh, secret path and fence post and fucking bugs that try and drop stuff on me. Ooh, key stuff. Okay, you yeah, move. What's that? This is the only point in the game where you see this enemy. I just got swallowed. And I'm now Pooh Brown Link. 
and I'm being swallowed again. This is the only time in the game that I've actually seen this enemy in this like little area here. And considering it changes you a different colour that I think is only used in one boss on a very rare attack and a heart piece. Wow. Those things are probably dung beetles. Link, you have a shit face. Uh, can I more? Yay, health. Yeah, that colour thing that changes you brown is only used in this area in the game and like one little boss area. And considering that enemy is only used here, I think they should have used it more. I mean, the thing pretty much swallows you and changes you a different colour. That's cool! Even though you are pretty much covered in droppings and... How tranquil are those girls? They're so delicious! Okay, we're leaving the cow field. We're leaving the cow field before Ezlo tries to eat cows. Save a cow, he's a vegetarian, I say. Well, I don't actually say that. That's something more Sue Kupo Nut would say. But, still. If I could, like, cut the attraction I have for bacon, because I like, love bacon, that's the only reason I am not a vegetarian. And another snake, or another golden enemy that we got for a Keystone Fusion. Let's slash you, because I need money. Come on, don't hurt me, please. Duck's not making things easy. Duck's not making things easy. Not at all. And duck! Die! Ooh, heart. Right, it's time to get out the item. I just haven't used this yet. Out! And yeah, take it. These things don't stun long because they're golden. So, yeah. Take it. Woo, yay! 200 rupees! Actually, no, I think there's only 100. Oh well. I don't know. I just want to know I've got a pretty high number. Let's head down here and. Let's head down here. <clears throat> Hold on, 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 Hold Oh dear, I exploded. Hey, that stone album is crumbling or something of those masks. You know, no matter how times I see it, it still rattles me. And another church, which is good. Yay, 20 mysterious stuffs. But there's a random guy up here. Let's go see him. The green cap and green... The green cap and the green clothes. Are you perhaps a fairy? Woohoo! I knew it! I knew it! Tingles wants to be a fairy too! Actually, I have a keystone, you know. Hey, Mr. Rarity, shall we try to fuse the keystone? Do you want to? Do you? Not now, you're creeping me out, bud. Especially considering in Majora's Mask, where Tingo Tingles first appeared, he is actually a 40 year old man dressed up in a fairy costume. I have to admit. Yeah, I know furries basically do the same thing, but in, like, fur suits of animals that are anthropomorphic, but that is still kind of creepy. Though I should kind of be empathetic, I guess. Actually, no, no, why shouldn't? That's tight-fitting Lycra, and he's fat. That is creepy. That is Creepsville right there. If you're over, fur if you're over 40, do not wear tight-fitting Lycra. I beg you. Um... Oh crap, I forgot something. Meet you back in just one second before I enter Castor Wilds. Okay, back in Hyrule Town. Um, head into the dojo now that we can run like the wind. Ah, yes, you have the Pegasus boots, I see! You seem to have more skill too! Yes, I am ready to train you again! So, would you like to train here? Yes, I would, sir. Good, thank you. You will now learn the new technique, the dash attack. First, equip the Pegasus boots. Second, equip your sword. Third, run like crazy. That's all, young swordsman. Do you understand? Yeah, I do. Yes, yes, you're a fine student. Just equip the sword and Pegasus boots and touch any button you like. But one field But to one's a field technique, you just must not just to hear it's about it. That is why you must possess your body, so I'll demonstrate the technique. This is a swift blade switch rule technique of training. Watch this, hurrah! Switch a rule! Boom. Yeah, he's possessing a body and running into walls. You mustn't try it yourself. 
Equip the Pegasus boots and your sword and run like crazy. <clears throat> Seriously, you could kill Varty. Why do you not, like... Yes, fine work, I learned quickly. I will now give you a Tiger Scroll. If you ever forget this technique, you can learn against this, this scroll. Run out of wind. Okay. If these guys can do this, there's like two we've seen now, and I can tell you now there are more of these guys. Why do these guys not possess Savati? Or possess King Doubters who's possessed by Varty to tell Varty get Varty out of his body? Seriously! Eno could do a better job than you. Eno from Naruto. Not that I watched Naruto. I mean, it kind of bored me the first couple of episodes, really. I could probably get into it if I watched it now, because I was like 13 when I first like watched it, and then I lost track of it on TV, then I tried to watch it online, but I got bored. Maybe it's because everyone kept Shadow Thing due to the bridge episode, where everyone kept dying, but then they were really alive again. That kind of pissed me off. Well, it kind of like made me feel like I didn't want to watch it, because everyone's dead and they're alive. Yeah, I didn't like it. Anyway, we're now in Castor Wilds because I completely forgot the area while I was talking. Um, this is the home of snakes or ropes as they're called in the Zelda series. Die you rope. Uh, I think I'm going to end things off here for now guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Uh, yes, see you next time. Save me. I'm sinking. Bye.